Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds with 3DGameMan.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Silverstone Nightjar 500 Watt Zero Decibels. This is a fanless power supply. The box does look very silver. But it looks nice. It has all kinds of features and specifications on it about the product, which is important if you're picking it up in store. If you're not, it doesn't matter so much. Now let's open it up and see what's inside. Styrofoam here at the top. I'll remove that. A user's manual and more information about the power supply. Here's the power supply itself which is in a plastic bag I will remove it very nice and there appears to be some other things over here yes a power cord some Velcro ties, as well as plastic cable ties, and screws. Now, they have four black thumb screws included, as well as four regular screws. Now, let's have a closer look at this power supply. The Nightjar series of power supplies are currently available in three wattages, 300, 400, and 500. I'll be reviewing the 500 watt model. Now, how is this wattage determined? Well, to understand that, you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use. And there are essentially two different rails, the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case, the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 120 watts and the 12 volt is 456 watts, which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. Now, the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards, and so on, while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the high drives, optical drives, fans, CPU, video cards, etc. It's also important to know the peak amps on each rail. The plus 3.3 volt and plus 5 volt rails are 18 amps each. And there's a single plus 12 volt rail, and it's 38 amps. Now, there are a number of important things to remember when selecting a power supply. First is wattage. Determine how much wattage you're going to require by the amount of hardware that you will be installing. Generally speaking, a medium to high-end gaming rig would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply for a hardcore system. Select a power supply that's around 800 watts. If, however, you are building an extreme gaming rig with a top-of-the-line multiple video card setup with lots of other hardware, go with a power supply that's 1,000 watts or greater. Second, it should be at or above 80% efficient at typical load. The efficiency of this power supply is 80 4 to 88 percent at 20 to 100 percent loading. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, over voltage, under voltage, and other protections. This power supply meets all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend choosing a power supply that has a PFC. A PFC or active power factor correction assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. A PFC basically reduces total harmonics, it corrects input voltage, and allows for full input voltage range. Thankfully, this power supply has a PFC. Fifth, there are three main certifications, AD Plus, NVIDIA SLI, and ATI Crossfire. Many of today's high-end power supplies meet one or more of these certifications. This power supply is certified to meet the AD Plus bronze requirements. Sixth, look for a power supply that uses Japanese capacitors. This ensures a much more reliable product than a power supply with low-grade capacitors. Thankfully, this power supply does have Japanese brand capacitors. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Also consider a power supply that has a modular design because it reduces the cable mess inside of the case. This power supply has an aluminum housing and there's no fan whatsoever. So it's perfect for a silent computer build. Here's where the power cord gets connected. Power switch and a couple of LEDs. This is a temperature status LED and a 
a power LED. This power supply was designed from the ground up with a thermal solution tailored specifically for fanless applications. This ensures that the power supply has overall cooler components and those components are capable of operating at much higher temperatures and that means that the power supply will last that much longer so it has a longer lifespan than a lot of other power supplies that would be exposed to these kinds of temperatures. Now how can this power supply handle enormous temperatures because you know with no fan there's going to be some enormous temperature inside of this power supply. Well how that is accomplished or one of the ways that it is accomplished is they use kilowatt level components such as a higher spec transformer and higher quality PFC coil than you know what you'd find in your average power supply and these components use high temperature tolerant wire which means that the power supply can operate at a lower temperature in a fanless environment. So don't think that you can pull the fan on your standard power supply and everything will be okay because it won't. A standard power supply without a fan will overheat. It also has an oversized extruded aluminum heatsink conductor and copper spreader and these are carefully laid out and designed to maximize cooling to all crucial components for efficient heat dissipation in a fanless environment. Now there are a slew of power supplies on the market and there are certainly a lot of 500 watt power supplies on the market that are much, much cheaper than this power supply. But this power supply is not your average power supply. Like I said before, if you yank a fan out of a standard power supply, it will overheat in minutes and catch fire. This one won't. Remember, there's no fan. Now, not everyone is going to jump right out and get one of these because not everyone will need a silent computer build. But if you do, huh, this power supply is one of the very, very best. Now, it does get pretty darn hot, but remember, it's designed to do that. So don't worry too much about it getting extremely hot. That's not a big deal. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.